Hello again and welcome to another edition of Farm Radio. Today we have on the bench, we are blessed with this Marantz Model 1520. This has to be like the end of the era from 1979. This is, I don't like to use that word, Crosley, but it's like the Crosley of Marantz's, but I don't mean that in a bad way. What I mean is, um, it's got the look, but it's it's a Taiwanese manufacturer. There's like not used to what not what you're used to looking at. But then again, machine of this era, it incorporates some uh, engineering uh, feats and flaws. I'll get to those in a minute. Uh, what I've done already is when I received this not working it said in the ad the main power fuse it was open or oh, missing actually the fuse on the preamplifier was blown of uh, one of the channels the left channel and uh, it still had problems I uh, Replace the fuse, but it's never the fuse. So I found the uh, the two outputs in the drivers. I believe the outputs are fine. I suspected the outputs, so I removed them. These are the outputs here, and they're fine. This is a, a B507 and an and a D313. And the drivers are. Of course, I have silicone on one of them heat sink compound while I was removing it. So we have the A564 and the C1384. One of which is shorted. So basically, and the diodes. These are biasing diodes, I guess. Um, they are glass. They're W08 Hitachis. I can't find a cross, but I'm just going with a Vichet a glass high-speed rectifier with uh, enough voltage and, and, and uh, current rating for that. Um, and to go on even further to add insult to injury here, I'm running it and this IC has no output. You can't see it, I'm on the bottom. I'm going to show it to you. It's the, uh, oh it's like a 18, 16, 18 pin, I forget how many, we'll take a look here, op amp. 16 pin op amp runs off the plus 36 minus 36 another engineering marvel from national semiconductor which is almost unobtainable unobtainium so these receiver features uh, has some features or features some you know state of the art whatever you call it at the time um, technology but uh, it's failed so any chip that brags about how uh, over voltage protection and short circuit protection and all these protections is usually bad in my book and I was able to find I cannot find a schematic on this 1520 so I've got the 1515 and 1530 it's the, it's like the the love child of Marantz or something is something just I don't know what was going on at this point but um, in any event it would be a nice little receiver it's got the look and whatnot, and here we are. They call them Qs, but the silly IC here, pin 9, no output. And that's the fuse that was blown, by the way. So I replaced the fuse. There are some charred resistors. This this 1K is charred just on this channel. Um, the drivers are 704 and 708. I believe these are the drivers here. And these are the diodes that are shorted. That, that diode shorted one transistor. So out of this whole channel, I think it's only one transistor, but I ordered pairs. They sell them in pairs. So I ordered a, a pair, a pair, and um, yeah, I'll look at this a little more. I don't know if the outputs, I don't think the output transistors are, are here. In fact, there's more transistors here than, uh, <laughs> than in the set or something here. I, not sure but anyway there's your idling current adjust so yeah we've ordered the chip which I'm going to take out because I know it's bad 
on this side. I've already have the output transistors out. They check fine. The diode was the hardest thing to find because there's no numbering on them. No numbering. I found it from the schematic that they are Hitachi W08s. Uh, they're just a high speed uh, glass rectifier. I think they're high speed anyway. Okay, uh, that's it for now. Just documenting that. We're on parts hold here, so we're just going to take that chip out and get ready, and uh, we'll return to the 1520, 1530, 1515 for that matter. And I did order some dial lamps because there's four of them and only one is illuminated. I went with LED this time. I really was going to go with the incandescent for the look, but I got some warm white LED just for the coolness factor. Cool meaning temperature cool. No blue, no green, no obnoxious color, just as close to the original. The lens is blue, so it, sh it should shine just, just fine. But like I say, the Achilles heel of this thing is this Q702IC. I was searching the web and I found a National Semiconductor article about this chip, uh, just bragging about it more or less. The LM391-80, and this has a dash 60 in it, uh, and I, sometimes those numbers mean a lot, sometimes they don't mean much at all. And that's our diode, that's a 100 volt, 3 quarters of an amp diode. And there's the schematic for the 1530 screenshot, which looks more in line with ours. Here are the outputs, and there are the drivers, so that's why I was confused by that other 1515. This is closer to the 15, this model is closer to the 1530. And one other thing uh, that I learned from another website here is the uh, N100, which is offered, it does say, which was nice of them, that it does replace the other types. Well, this is what I've decided to go with. I could just stick a 4007 in there, but I don't think that would be a suitable replacement um, because it's audio. I'm going with the BYV26C, a little overrated, but that's a uh, 1 amp, 600 volt inverse reverse voltage diode and it is glass and it's high speed and yeah one amp 600 volt so that's what we're gonna put in there the ultra fast avalanche center glass whatever that is diode and there we are with our chip unsorted all the legs are um, loose enough to uh, just pull that out. I'm not even going to turn this over today. We're going to wait for the new one to come in, but each each leg is is ready and broken and ready to pull through. I could just push that through if I had to. Okay. Okay, here we are top side. Looks like our meter there is not quite centered, but I'm not going in and screwing with that. Here we are with our chip removed. And you can see that resistor there got a little hot. These here also got hot. Uh, they check OK. And this one here, this 1K, they're all 1Ks. 1K, 1K. Uh, these are obviously not. I did just wet down the idling controls and I just wet the uh, radio portion. But that's about it till our parts come. Here's our chip. It looks like it's date coded the uh, 20th week of 78. And uh, I'll look at it under magnifications for any defects. I don't see anything offhand. I'll just put it with our outputs for now. Okay, so two outputs, two diodes, two drivers, and the uh, funny little op amp driver chip there and maybe I don't know if I'll do a couple of these capacitors over here or not we'll see